Hello and welcome back to another episode. I would like to preface this by saying I have already done this yesterday, but um, somebody didn't turn on their microphone. So here we are doing a new intro. Um, thankfully, the snippets that are just kind of silently featured or voiceovered are all very much usable and will not be affected by my complete lack of remembering to turn the microphone on yesterday. Um, I will insert a couple clips just to sort of illustrate some of the things that I now no longer can um, because this is day two of the project and it's already begun. So um, I cannot show you certain things as they once were because they've already been changed. Today's project is something I have been looking forward to having in my home for years. I, I, I couldn't even tell you how many years. It has kind of always been a dream for me to own something like this. And I never had the thought to make it myself. I just, it never occurred to me ever. So um, here we are making dreams come true and perhaps today is the day that you will realize maybe you too can accomplish this craft that seemed so far out of my reach and perhaps yours as well, but you will see that making something like this is a lot more possible than one would think. But the inspiration for this craft, for this concept of being able to make my own Victorian styled lampshade completely goes to this remarkably talented creator that I have been following on TikTok, um, Ace of Shades. I hope to one day be able to afford one of your stunning original creations. To be able to have that in my home would be an absolute dream. Thank you so much for inspiring me and, and helping me to believe myself that I could tackle a project as intricate and as beautiful as what you do every day so um, without further ado let us get started on our lampshade so I'm gonna cut it back to yesterday really quickly because I want you to see what the lampshade looked like in its original form um, I don't really know where it was previously purchased um, it's a whole lamp and everything um, it was gifted to us by a family member who was just doing some cleaning and and opportunity really just kind of came together. So this is what the lampshade originally was. We then have to basically just tear apart that exterior because we don't want any of that remaining um, where we don't want the lining on the inside. It's all glued together anyway as I will come to find out because um, I now know things that I did not know yesterday. Um, everything is glued together. There's a lot of um, really cute like goopy yellow bits in there. But once it's in its natural state, we can kind of start to move forward and uh, begin the process of turning it into something magical. So now welcome to actual day two of crafting and project work. Yesterday I started with those two fabrics layered over top to fill those large spaces on the lampshade. I went ahead and did the other three remaining panels all around so all four are sewn on at this point before we move on to the next bit of detailing that's going on those skinnier side strips um, that connect everything. So I'm gonna show you how that turned out. This is what we're working with right now. So our next task is to sew on another layer of this, just this green on those little panels. 
And then we're gonna come in with this very sheer black, and I'm gonna pleat that down those sides. Um, if that does not yet make total sense to you visually, I think as soon as you see me start applying, it will make a lot more sense. I've got all of my green fabric sewn on to the lampshade and now we're at that part that I was trying to explain before. So let's see if this makes a little bit more sense. As you can see, I have the fabric pinned onto the shade. There are these little ends here that are going to get trimmed off and up here too. But as you can see, I've got it kind of like pleated. Um, what I did was I kind of wove through this straight across and just pulled it taut and kind of scrunched everything into the center and then pinned it up here and then I just kind of gently sort of spread these out um, and folded my little plaits where I wanted them and pinned them down here and then I pinned the sides a little bit as well just to kind of keep things in place. In the glare. Um, I have finished applying my black accents to the sides of my lampshade. I'm so excited! I think it looks really good. I'm so proud of how it's turning out so far. Um, and now it is officially time to put the sewing needle down, stop the hand sewing, the hand stabbing. Um, and move on to the hot glue gun and some of our fun accessories. I'm so excited about this part. Um, I'm gonna do some more close-ups and I will come back to you again when we are finished with the lampshade. We did it, my friends. We have created a beautiful Victorian-inspired lampshade. I am so happy. I'm so, so happy. I'm so tired. That was so much fun. I have so many needle stabs in my fingers and hot glue gun burns and all that fun stuff, but it was all so worth it. And you know what? 
I can't wait to make another one. I really think I'm gonna make another one at some point um, whenever I move out of my apartment and have a house. I would love to be able to make a friend for this shade, maybe something that's not quite so translucent. Um, I wasn't really thinking about that when I purchased the fabric, which as you can tell is a rookie mistake. Um, but I have to say doubling up on it really made a difference and I do really like that sort of quality that it has. It does end up looking really nicely. I just think that for my second ever <laughs> lampshade, I might um, take a little bit more time on being particular with my fabric selection, but I really kind of jumped into this very blindly um, and with lots of hope and enthusiasm and you know what I'm so pleased I couldn't be happier I finally have a lampshade of my dreams um, thank you so much for joining me on my weekly adventure it has been such a pleasure having you as always and I hope to see you next week take care until then It's green. It's green. Super green. Super green. Fifth Element. Fifth Element's a great movie. If you haven't watched it in a while, here's your reminder. Um, <laughs> uh, there are, there are, there were quite a few, there were quite a few um, goopy yellow things living on the edges of the boning, the framing of the lampshade afterwards that I then cleaned. Um, Alright. I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on. Turn it off and turn it back on. And turn it off and turn it back on. Um, opportunity. Blah, blah, blah. Don't really want this glare. We're sewing. We're sewing. Okay. Beep beep. <sighs> I'm so tired. My throat is so dry. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm almost done! <laughs> My whole house is lit with Edison bulbs. It's very dark in here. But beautiful.